So I'm new at this. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Everybody is because it's a new moment all the time. So don't worry about that. Uh, so I've been making. Did anything make sense that you heard? Yes. Then you're not new at this. Okay. Um, I've been making a lot of positive changes in my life, and I'm just kind of trying to find out what's next. So. Well. <laughs> <laughs> says the deliberate creator. I have a big question mark out there. Universe, just surprise me. And I'll let you know when it comes, whether that's what I wanted or not. Hmm. We're being sarcastic and it's not becoming. <laughs> okay. We don't want you to have the attitude, I'm wondering what's next. We want you to say, next what I would like is... I would like more sense of stability in my life experience. I would like a career, job, work that is really satisfying, where I can feel myself expanding and growing. I'd like the people that I work with to be compatible with me, but not exactly the same as me. I'd like us to stimulate each other to new ideas. I'd like to be respected, and I'd like to be around other people who respect me. I'd like to feel really good in my body. I'd like to feel strong and vital. I'd like to feel that I've got a lot of capacity to do things. I'd like all the muscles and tendons of my body to be flexible and strong. I'd like to be able to pretty much do whatever I feel like doing. If I have an idea that I want to do it, I want to be able to kick the door open if I want to. I want the resources to be available to me when I want them to be available. Talk about what you want. Yeah. Um, I, uh, Esther says, I like that car. I like that car. I like that car. I wish I had a blouse the color of that car. I wish I had that. Look around and define and praise the things that you like the most. Yeah. I mean, that actually kind of hit it because I was thinking of starting a business and doing a lot of those things. So that's actually... Well, we always get it right out of your vortex. That's why it's interesting that you say, what's next? Sort of like, I'm not the one that gets to choose. There's someone more important than me and more learned than me and more worthy on my behalf who has decided in advance what's going to be allowed into my meager little experience. We're exaggerating strong just to make a point with you. You are the decider. You're the pointer. You're the pointer. The only thing you have to do is point and then not point in opposition. That's it. That's the sum and total of this entire seminar. Now you all want your money back, don't you? That's it. <laughs> Just point and don't point in opposition. That's the work. So what are you pointing at? Um. Uh. <laughs> Sometimes you have to know what your opposition is before you know what you're pointing at, but... Don't you have a clearer idea than you are seeming to have? Yeah, I want to make my wife happy. Um. <laughs> well, hopefully she can point at things you care about. Well, yes. <laughs> That's nice of you, but what are you bringing to the equation? It's like this. You're really going to like this. There's three steps. To deliberate creation the first is sift and identify and then ask and step one comes pretty easily if you don't have enough food you're asking for food if you don't have enough air you're asking for air if you don't have enough flexibility you're asking for flexibility if you don't have enough money you're asking for money so step one life just evokes it from you step two is your inner being gets immediately on board with what you've asked for focuses unequivocally no opposite thought offered by your inner being law of attraction is responding to both aspects of you you and your inner being so the law of attraction is responding to your inner beings story about what your inner being knows you want and powerful things are gathering cooperative things are gathering vibrationally around the ideas that your life caused you to ask for now, you might not be able to verbalize it. You can't. You're not verbalizing it very well. But your inner being has a clear idea of what you don't want and therefore what you do want. And so that's already established. Your work is then to find a way to be the best match you can be to what your inner being knows you want. Well, what you were doing in this conversation, it's like you were putting your wife in the picture of doing all the asking <laughs> and your desire was as simple as trusting what she's asking for and wanting it to be fulfilled but that's not a very 
robust, vital, attractive point of attraction. You want to be sure-footed. You don't want to be just an echo to someone else. You want to be harmonic to somebody else, but you don't want to just be an echo to what they want. And we know, we ask you what you want, and that's one thing. Surely there are other things. But the way you said it, it didn't sound like there were many other things. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, more money, but that seems like almost, I, I, I don't know, like I want to start a business, make more money, live a better life, but, you know, it would bring her up too. And We are so happy that we had the conversation that we had earlier about is it a wish, is it a hope, is it a dream? Is it a desire? And then, does it feel certain? Or does it feel like maybe it's a probability, pretty sure, or a possibility, and it could go either way, or not likely? So, what you got going on here is just wishy at most. Okay. Wishy at most. Like more money. Yeah. That's why sometimes. You have experiences that help you to focus. Would you say that your wife has stronger, clearer intentions of what she wants? Yes. <laughs> and so you feel pretty certain that if you just want what she wants, you're covered? <laughs> it does seem a little lazy, but yeah. <laughs> it seemed that way to us. That's why we're teasing you. <laughs> okay. So we're going to offer some things here, and you let us know if we are identifying you clearly. Of course, you want your wife to identify what she wants, and you would like everything that she's dreaming about to come into her experience. You really like that, because it is delicious when manifestations start flowing. But these are some other things that we know for sure about you. Yeah. You want to, you want to be your own person, mm -hmm. and you want to be understood, and you want to make good decisions. And that's why you're wanting the approval of making your wife happy. It's all right. You are like almost every other human on the planet. You have calibrated to what others think is a good idea. And that's fine. That's the way most of the world lives. But it's not who you intended to be when you came. Who you intended to be when you came was one who evaluates, identifies, focuses and accomplishes nothing less than masterful creating will ever satisfy you but you're uncertain that you can do that because you hardly know anybody who's really doing that and you haven't really been thinking about the laws of the universe and your application of them and you have never we are certain you've never considered what your point of attraction is you've never really considered what am i thinking about and how is what i'm thinking about feeling with me while i'm thinking about it that's why you're letting someone else's point of attraction be dominant to you. But you can't get satisfaction in that way, not for very long. You cannot create another's intentions. You have to be willing to let the universe inspire you with your clear idea of what you want. Because only in you identifying what you want and then feeling around it and then watching the universe demonstrate it to you will you feel the clarity and the power of your beingness. That's what empowerment is. You will never find empowerment by fulfilling the wishes of others. There is no satisfaction. There is no satisfaction that comes to anyone as a result of just doing what somebody else suggests is a good idea. Satisfaction comes only from one place, having an intention. And it's nice to wish well for others. Don't misunderstand us. But your own intentions and your own calibrating around them and your own contemplating them until you feel them click into place, until you feel a sort of certainty welling up within you, until you say, yes, this is what I mean. And then you get to witness the universe yielding to you because you're unequivocal in your offering. You're unequivocal in your vibration. And then as the universe is yielding to you, you will know your power. And that's what you came. That's what you're all about. We don't know another person on the planet that could have evoked that rampage from us with as much clarity as you just did. And it's because of the power of what you were born with and where you are standing within it and your openness and willingness to hear us out on this subject. This was powerful and important. Really good. Thank you. 
If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe.